What was that disgusting thing someone you were dating told you and it changed your image of them? Wasn't really dating per se, but was hanging out and drove him to my place on the way. He says, oh bro, he looks like he'd be a hot FK pointing to this dude in a skateboard. To skate a dude in question was the son of a family friend and was 12 years old. Thing is, this skater dude Ben doesn't even really look older than his age. Whether my date or FWB needed glasses, simply mistook him for an older guy, or was a boar hungry predator. I don't know. I blocked him after and never saw him again. FY this date guy was 11 years older than Mr. So it Maybe he was a P. My ex liked to go get massages. I didn't think much of it at first. I went with him one time, and the place we went didn't seem shady. He told me a few months into our relationship that he had gotten more than a massage a couple times. Carrying it into a little more detail than I was comfortable with. Grossed me out probably more than he expected, unrelated. A few months later he asked me during an argument if I was gonna be just a bartender my entire life. Once I got sober almost everything he said turned me off. This happened several years ago. I met him in January. We started officially dating in April. While we were friends, he was telling me and a couple other people in our friend group that he slept with a girl on New Year. Years of that year made up this whole story of he was sitting in his truck. He saw her walk past. Then he approached her. One thing led to another. Blah, blah, blah. He ended up telling me that whole story was a lie and he only made that up so he would look cool. We broke up soon after. A couple months after an ex cheated on me, and I gave him another chance. One of his friends who I liked hanging out with confessed to being into me. I told my ex BF at the time what happened, and he said he knew and even encouraged his friend to try to hook up with me because you guys flirt all the time so go for it and we'll call it even. Made me realize how emotionally manipulative he was, trying to bait me into sleeping with someone else so I didn't have a leg to stand on anymore. We had broken up but stayed acquainted because we worked together. He was telling me about how his ex gained weight already gross and then said I guess that's what happens when people date me. We break up and they get fat. No, I was having thyroid issues and gained a decent amount of weight since we last dated. Unfortunately, that was what set in my mind that he was a disgusting human being. Despite all the other horrible things he's done. He relayed the story of how he had thrown a full milkshake out of a moving car at an old lady who was walking on the sidewalk and hit her full in the chest. He could barely get the story out. He was laughing so hard. I thought this was something he had maybe done when he was in middle school and trying to show off for his friends that would have been bad enough. No. He did this when he was 21. What a plain fucking asshole. Fuck you, John told me at 21 years old that before I started talking to him he was trying to get with and pressuring a six-year-old sophomore in high school because she had a pretty piece eye. Instantly broke it off. My dad's a private investigator. Told him about it and he was arrested and literally just got out three one two months ago. He was in prison for two years and got out early for good behavior but is on parole for the next five one two months. I don't play. There shouldn't even be a Miss Black NSU. They should play by the same rules. And if they don't win, they don't win. It's racist. I'm not racist. I had a black friend in college his name. It was Brian. I don't remember his last name. No, we don't talk. We just lost contact. Why are you getting so shitty about it? And he's been doing everything he can to ruin my and my kids' lives ever since. He and his ex-spouse used corporal punishment on their kids when they were together. Legitimately continues to hit them for infractions, where one might consider taking away their video, games or giving them a stern talking to reasonable. To this day, and he sees nothing wrong with this. I was fucking appalled and should have ended the relationship right there. My ex completely changed after we got married. When I asked him why he'd lied to me about who he was before, he literally said, I didn't think you'd like me if you knew. Damn straight. I was like, don't you think I kind of deserve to decide that for myself? Now I just can't trust you at all. And he said, but then you wouldn't have married me. Surprise, surprise. We got divorced. 
X how I felt sexually violated by him and ongoing abuse and arguments. He revealed to me that his first thought after me telling him how I felt was I'll show you what. It's really like to be violated. And he essentially confessed to planning how he wanted to rape me. Down to the detail. I already resented him. But this made me genuinely fear him. I was set up on a date. The first thing they told me was that they didn't believe in gay relationships and gay people were disgusting. I don't think they were expecting me to call them on it loudly in the busy coffee shop. But I did. They got up and left in a huff because I'm so embarrassing and can't even have a civilized conversation. Nope. Not with bigots. Told me. No idea. But I did see the inside of a girl's house I was dating and it was horrific. Literally dog and cat shit everywhere. Dirty dishes, smelled like cat piss. Laundry all over, etc. Just fucking gross. No sheets on the bed. Mattress looks like it had piss or spilled drink stains and obvious blood stains from curly time. ETC dot dot it was rough. My best friend was 16 at the time. I was 18, and my ex was 22. He kept telling me how hot Katie would be for me, and my bestie to make a sex tape for him or have a threesome with him. He would bring up three ways all the time, and I told him to stop because it made me uncomfortable, and he only ever wanted to have threesomes with my underage friends. He told me he studied a type of dating strategy called the game. It was all about keeping women guessing and getting them to feel like they had to have you. It was so gross, and I don't understand why he told me. I had worked with him for years before we dated, and he was such a sweet guy. But that nonsense was the end. Ompliment I think until she ruined it by telling me all the other guys she dated she just panged. Dem and didn't have a second date, then proceeded to tell me the notch count she racked up doing this. Long term GF asking me if we broke up. How long would you wait before sleeping with anyone else? I respond probably a few months or longer, depending on my headspace and healing time. She replied unprompted, oh no. I would fuck the whole town the next day, pure manipulation, and gave me hardcore ICK. Rich Long Island guy in college told me he stole razors because he thought the price was stupidly high. He did it while we were at the grocery store together with that explanation and I never went out with him again. Not sure that's disgusting, but I was disgusted by how his moral code worked. Told me how her and her male housemate would take bets on how hard people she went on dates with. Would try to contact her and how long it would take them. Would ice out caring friends and brag about it. Din preached that everyone should go to therapy, ya yeah, babe. Some more than others. Not an ex, but someone I knew told that they'll never be able to see their wife in the same way post her. Delivery. That guy was a medical student and said that watching a woman giving birth is a major turn-off, and that he would never be able to have any feelings for her ever again. A girl I had slept with a few times once told me that when she showers, if she washes her hair, she doesn't bother washing her body because the soap washes it away as it cascades down her body. Didn't sleep with her after that. Told her I was getting into another relationship. I wasn't dating him, but when he asked me why I didn't want kids and I explained the risks and how little it appealed to me, he told me I knew too much. He already knew I was studying pathology so that really sealed that nothing was ever gonna happen between us. While fighting with his younger brother about politics and he was right. Who has the blue check mark next to their name? He was 48 years old trying to one up his 30 for year old brother as if he should recognize his wisdom. Ah yes elite Instagram man. You're literally just me, we were definitely similar and shared a lot of opinions. But were we the same person? Absolutely not. Also his tone and the context really rubbed me the wrong way. Like he genuinely believed that we were the same person. He called high DCK Willy in a childish voice during dirty talk. He had little kids and it's how he'd speak to them. Instant turn off. I just couldn't take this little boy seriously anymore before I'm reported he was 33. A guy I was dating said he could suck his own cock. I thought he was joking until he showed me a video of it on his phone. I'm bisexual and open to a lot of things, but this made me gag. I ended up breaking up with him. I was already starting to think he was insane, but he told me he would steal a black baby for me. Because one time I said a baby, who happened to be black, was adorable. He turned out to be absolutely nuts, no surprise. 
called me an attention-seeking W.H. Ray when I confronted him about all the emotional abuse he put me through, snapped at me when we were in bed and asked him what he wanted to get like twice because I was starving. I went on a date with someone that admitted they went to the local alternative club just to make fun of people dancing badly. Immediately lost all attraction to them when I realized they were a huge fucking loser. I had a Dr. Harley Quinn cosplay ready and wanted to wear it to con, so I told my BF at the time about it, and he said he would buy a ticket and be my joker. I couldn't look at him the same after that. That I should light its ass on fire when referring to my dog, and then suggested I let her go loose. In the woods. He had never even met my dog. Just had a thing against tiny animals, I suppose. It wasn't something he told me, but the way he slurped cold Noki out of a container. Watching him eat ricotta straight from the container was pretty awful as well. Nasty slurping sounds. Talking about a news story about the rape of a minor. A very, very single-digit minor. You know she wanted it. She probably let him on and then only said something when they got found out. Disgusting is a strong word, but I met a guy on a dating app who was 30 minutes late to the first date. He said he called his mom beforehand to discuss me. Discuss what? We never met. It wasn't a lie, really. It was just something I said so you'd like me. Once I realized that she didn't think lies counted if they were told to manipulate people. I was out. She told me she went to her professor's place and slept in the same bed next to him. But tried to. Tell me they didn't have sex. Broke up with her right there on the spot. Oh, wow. He was a Tom Petty super fan. When I showed surprise he looked ready to get up and leave. I'm glad it was just one date. There's no way I could fake interest in Tom Petty.